Hey everyone, today I was going to uh, do some pickled eggs, but just as I finished cracking them or peeling them, I thought, well, hey, why not stick them in the smoker and get a nice uh, smoke flavor and then pickle them? So that's what I'm going to do right now. it's pretty easy to get these ready for the smoker just make sure they're really dry you know like anything if you're doing bacon or smoked salmon you know it's important to keep that the outside really dry so that smoke adheres to it all right we're gonna go outside and stick these in the smoker all right let's get these eggs in the smoker and it's about 40 degrees out here so Cold smoking is going to be perfect. There they are. And what I'm going to use to apply the smoke is the amazing pellet smoker. It's right here. So let me go ahead and uh, fill it up with some uh, pellets and get it going. Okay, I'm gonna use some apple. These are the Traeger pellets. I think they're the best you can get. And again, this is called the Amazing uh, Pellet Smoker. There's the trigger pellets. It's gonna be apple today. Let's get this guy lit. All right, all you do is heat that up for 45 seconds. Now, if I just light one end, it would burn for 11 hours. But I'm gonna light both ends and that way it's going to burn uh, for five hours, but a really heavy smoke. I've lost count. It's usually about 45 seconds it takes for it to get lit. There it is. I didn't light the other end. Well, that was 30 seconds. Okay, there you go. And you're supposed to let this burn about 10 minutes outside the smoker. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and stick it in the smoker. There we go. And you can see already, that's a lot of smoke. And there's our eggs, and we'll come back in about five hours. Oh, it's pouring down raining outside, but the smoker's still smoking, of course. I was gonna go out and uh, open the door and have you look at the, the smoke, or the amount of smoke that the uh, amazing uh, pellet smoker produces, but I guess I won't. Hopefully the rain will stop. Okay, I'm back. The eggs are all done. They're still in the smoker. I'll bring those in in a few. What I got going here in the pan is uh, three cups of uh, just plain white vinegar and one cup of water. And I wanna boil that and I'm gonna add some pickling spice. Here's my pickling spice. And I didn't just go to the store and pick up a little box that says pickling spice. I went through all my spices and uh, Took out one teaspoon, let's see here, if I can remember what they are. We got some cloves, we got some fennel, of course, the bay leaf, some juniper berries, some thyme, some black peppercorn, some raw sugar, and some my own uh, Himalayan uh, pink salt, and some coriander, and one uh, star anise. 
So what I'm going to do, just dump these all in there. And I'm going to bring it to a boil and then turn it off and then I'll go and get the eggs and we'll put the eggs in the jar and pour this on top and then that's it. We're done. Let's take a look in here. Maybe we can see in here, it's a little dark. Ah yeah, the egg's got a slight little brown to them. And you can see all the uh, pellets are used up. So we're ready to go. I'm gonna bring these guys in the house. All right, got the eggs back in the house. And they look nice. I'm hoping all of them will fit in this jar. If not, I'll be having one to eat. I think I'll uh, cut one open anyway to see how far the uh, smoke ring got in there. I don't think very far. I've pickled a lot of eggs before and I've put uh, jalapenos in there, ghost peppers, habaneros, and it still doesn't get into the egg. So I wanna see what this smoke does. Hopefully, somehow it permeated the egg. We'll find out soon. All right, let's get these eggs in the jar here. I hope they all fit. I know I've used this jar in the past, but I, I forget how many eggs I put in there. This here is a dozen and a half. So hopefully they all fit. Looks like they are. Yep, they're all going to fit with one left over. All right, let me go get that brine. See if I can get it in there without making a great big mess here. I hope I have enough. Let's see. Hey, wow, that came out perfect. For that size of jar, that's uh, three cups of vinegar and one cup of water. That worked out perfect. All right, there it is, it looks good. I'll go ahead and put my lid on. I'm gonna let them sit out for just a little bit to cool, and then I'll pop them in the refrigerator, then I'll try them, yeah, probably in about a week. There they are, they look nice. Well, let's get something to cut this one egg open. I'm gonna do everything one-handed here. All right, let's try this guy out. There it is. But look, that smoke didn't even uh, get a hair in there. It's on the outside, but there's nothing inside. Well, let me uh, go ahead and give it a taste. You can taste the smoke, so it's worth it. So next time you're gonna pickle some eggs, give this a thought. And you don't need a great big smoker like this to do it in. Just get your cardboard box, put that amazing pellet smoker on the bottom, build you some kind of little rack in there to hold the eggs and put a cardboard box over it. And that would work perfect, all right? All right, we'll see you next time. And if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe.